Okay, hold on, guys. I'm going to read the back of the box for a second here, because there's something here I noticed. What? I have dedicated my life to the study of the deadly arts. I can blend in with any crowd, strike from any direction, and eliminate anyone with a single thrust of my blade. My name is Altair, and I'm my actions. Yeah. When I first read that, it reminded me of that meme of like the, the, the fat neckbeard who's like holding a katana, and he's like, while you were partying, I studied the blade. Yep, yep, <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Are those two who you're pickpocketing? Yes. No. <laughs> Hello. Is it me you're looking for? No. I can see it in your eyes. No. I can see it in your anus. I can see it in your vulva. Your, your vulva? <laughs> I can see it in your vulva. <laughs> I thought the fortress was closed to all. Aye. But William wishes to have repairs completed as soon as How does a guy in a bright white robe look like a serial killer? Guy in a bright white robe kill. <laughs> I don't know. Throw a thing um, I think it's because he dresses like a, uh, a monk, so he yeah, just kind of monks it up. Yeah, it's, well, yeah, that's why you blend no, in with accident. Yeah, I mean, but he always has clouds. his weapons out in full view. Mm. Just rule of cool. That's in full view. That's yeah, true. The oh, look, there's, the, the, <laughs> there's the actual monk. Many passages have been patient and faithful. And actually, the scholar is not monks. Wide robes is Muslim prayer. Well, he's, he's, he's an imam. He's an imam. Imam. Hey, mom. He's the imam. Very well. I'm off then. I'm a he's proud. Your, I'm a proud mommy. kafir, you guys. You gotta, you gotta pickpocket him. Yeah. Like how he's like nothing's going on here. I'm just checking my pockets. I'm checking my pockets. Grabbing that ass. <laughs> There's no one here but that guy, but oh no. It I couldn't lost have been him. Shit. As I think it is, I think it's one of those things where you you actually do Nice. Yeah, you actually do get away with a hell of a lot more as this guy in this kind of context because Like pedophilia. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you're right! I know. Which is sad. What are you doing, Dave? I'm trying to blend in. You're oh, so stupid! It didn't even fucking work. Okay, no. here's the thing. I would not be able to get out of, out of here. Yes, you would have. You're supposed to climb the crates. Oh, fuck the crates. Oh, you're a crate. <laughs> God fucking damn it. A crate? Like, wait, like the like the amplifier? No. Oh. Oh. And one thing I, we brought up before that we didn't really kind of touch on. Dave, are, are you actually, like, seriously interested in Life is Strange 2? <laughs> I hate my life. You do? You are, aren't you? Assassin's Creed 1 aged very poorly, but it was really good when it first came out. But now I don't understand why anyone likes the first one. Even I don't get why I like the first one. Cool. Because in 2006 it was a big deal. Like there, it did things no one had done before. Yeah. yeah, that's what I just said. Yeah. But looking back, I was, it was just 2006. Like, Let me just check. Yeesh. 2007. Still though. I mean, this game came out four months after Sonic 06. Yep. <laughs> Massive improvement in Soliana. <laughs> Because like you got it really cheap? Yeah, that's fair. Climb on Kratos, no one will bother you up there. <laughs> um, no, I did. I, I must assume that you don't care about Life is Strange's story or anything. No. Or like to actually play it for yourself. The, the walls would be funny, though. But, like, in terms of, like, the show Let's Play potential, are you like, yes! Yeah, that's basically it. Because I, I, I still think that Life is Strange Season 1 was our our best um, our best let's play we ever did. Yeah. It was so fucking funny. It was so consistently funny. That's because it was so consistently bad. Yeah. <laughs> All right, there we go. Good job. I just fucked up that some entire asshole. Army. Yeah, basically it was an entire squad. What are you guys feeling some creeps? I haven't really had them before. Oh, they're good. What are they? They're like thin pancakes. They're thin pancakes. They're French pancakes. They're very thin. So they're just thin pancakes? Okay. Well, they're just thin it's, as it's, bigger pancakes, just thinner. No, uh, with well, fruit. no. You with make fruit. them with fruit. No, not always. You can make savory ones too. Nope, fruit. There's a place <laughs> in town called Tiamo that makes them. They're very good. Yeah? Where's yeah. that downtown? Uh, yeah, they used to have two, two places, but. Um, oh, man, speaking of restaurants, Dave, have you noticed that where Red Rooster used to be, there's now a dumpling place? No. 
Yeah, it's it's called Seven Star Dumpling. Really? Yeah. Oh, it must have just opened. I definitely. Yeah, I, w- I want to go. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dumplings. Life is strange not as good as Mario Golf. Well, that that is true. <laughs> Oh, wait, are you talking about the, the game the, or the, the Let's Play? The Let's Play. The he might have meant the Let's Play because we had a lot of fun with that one. Yeah, we, we did enjoy Mario Golf, didn't we? Yeah, that one. We that should one. play it again. <laughs> yeah, so I can destroy you. <laughs> oh, Deb, you're supposed to be good at golf games. I'm not. Yes, you are, Deb. It's in your blood. It's in your disgusting blood. Fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> Your filthy, okay, how many more, filthy commoner blood that will never be. Up how many, how many more of these like little thingamabobs do you got to do before you can actually kill the guy? One more. One more. What? Yeah. yeah like mini missions before you can actually do the assassination. And then you did the pickpocketing, and now you got to yeah, do I something do, else. Yeah, I gotta do this. Okay. All right. Well, we're, we're on our way. Then we're on our way. It's not a big deal. Cause I'm on my way. Unacceptable. <laughs> oh. Brother Bear. <laughs> Brother Bear. That yeah, was an adorable I, movie. I saw Fuck, those. No, they dog. copied. They copied the the original Bernstein Bears. Bernstein. No, they didn't. <laughs> yes, they did. What the fuck, Dave? They're like they're they like, were literally had nothing in common. <laughs> oh yeah, they had everything in common because it was called Brother Bear. <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking damn it, no. Don't ruin. Don't ruin the Bernstein Bears and their their pure Christian now might. This, now with Bernstein your, with your, or Bernstein. It's Bernstein. It's, it's Bernstein. <laughs> that, that was a Mandela that, effect. That was that was a stupid Mandela effect. By the way, yeah, because it's fucking clearly marked as Baron Stain. It's always been Baron Stain. No, see, I actually legitimately remember it as Baron Stain. Well, they're not Jewish, so suck it. Yeah, I mean, j- just like how everyone thinks that Pierce Brosnan is still alive, but he's actually <laughs> dead. Deb, he didn't die of rectal cancer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you Naomi, s- cut him super mega cock. Naomi, this was before I I was dating you, but. On the show, it, it was, was on during, my it, birthday. It, it was during my Sonic, 30th birthday. It, it was during Sonic Adventure. We were playing. So, we were playing Sonic Adventure on the show on Dave's what? 30th birthday. What? Yeah, it was. It was during, it, you were playing an Ice Cap Zone. Was it? Yeah. Was it really? I thought we were playing Snowboard Kids or something. No, no, no. no. We were playing Ice Cap. It was. A, it was the. It was the, the snowboarding part of Sonic That's Adventure. That's right. Yeah. Okay. And I just. I just tell Dave. I'm like. Yeah, dude, Pierce Brosnan died today. And he's like, what? 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 <laughs> <laughs> and he, I like, I string him along for the whole episode making him think that Pierce Brosnan no, was dead. No, it wasn't the whole fucking episode. And then I was like, Bullshit. I just like, go on, I go on the phone and look it up and I'm like, Pierce Brosnan dies of rectal cancer. <laughs> <laughs> He had me going for a bit, and then yeah. I was like, well, that sounds really weird. I don't trust you. you yeah, Ferry, watch it. That was a good episode. Sonic Adventure was so good. Do you think Sonic Adventure was our best Let's Play, Ferry? I'm sure you do. Cause, but in my opinion, it was definitely Life is Strange. I don't know. I think one of our, some of our one-offs have been really... Yeah, I'm, I'm terms of series, though. Like, oh. a consistently good, like, the funniest series we ever did was Life is Strange. I think the series that I had probably the most fun with was was probably Mario Sunshine. That was a good game. The original, not the fucking. <laughs> the fucking. <laughs> not, not 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 the co-op mod that sucked ass. Oh, by the way, Naomi, um, you were watching this. You saw it while I was watching it. Um, mm-hmm. Max and Lynn. From Game Face, yeah, we're playing co-op. Yeah, they were playing Mario Sunshine co-op. They aired out in the exact same spot that we did, fighting the giant squid. Yeah, it just bugged out. It's like, oh, okay. You know what? You know why people might remember it as Bernstein instead of Bernstein? Because because the they're show, Jewish, like you? No, no, no. The show they pronounce the, the Bar- it as Bernstein in the cartoon show. Yeah. Oh. The older one they did, and they said, we are the Berenstain Bears. You just said Berenstain. Berenstain. No, you said Steen. We are the Berenstain Bears. <laughs> you're, it's just, you're probably not hearing it right. Yeah, okay, Dave. I like the one you played Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne that you will play in five years. <laughs> I do plan to start uh, the first Shin Megami Tensei on SNES as like a solo show, but I'm going to have Portable Niche on Skype. Like talking to me about it. So Fairy liked he liked Mario Golf, then Sonic Adventure, then Life is Strange. Yep. Okay. Yeah, Mario Golf was fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah. That was a good night. That was a good night. The best night of my life. It's all downhill from here. <laughs> I don't know, man. I think my thirtieth birthday was pretty damn good. You mean the thirtieth birthday where like you were drunk as shit all night and then Adam came in? And like walked all over the green screen, and then after your friends kicked you out of the house because the party was running too late, 
you fucked off down the road with a bunch of unknown people and woke up. I, I actually, it wasn't, and they're, then, not, they're not unknowns anymore. I know exactly who it was and they're all friends. <laughs> and then you woke up in your ex's place on your ex's couch while your ex was fucking another dude in the other room. <laughs> well, that part wasn't so good. <laughs> actually, okay. at that point, I didn't really give a shit. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I talked about golf sluts in, in my... Oh golf. yeah, check out your fucking cousin. <laughs> yeah, my cousin the golf slut. Yep, your here cousin who Avery knows and can't stand. <laughs> no one can fucking stand her now, dude. God, even I can't. Well, dude, you, you, can, you can barely stand her even back, like, whenever. Uh, when she was, like, 13 and before, she was actually really Yeah, but even her. when... She was, like, she was... When she really, helped us with SFO originally... She was starting to get to the shit. That was the mode. age of like, oh, fuck you. Yeah. No, like, here's the thing. When she was a kid, she was a very intelligent... Oh, that guy glitch around. He, she was very intelligent. She was very, like, like mindful, especially for her age. She was well-read for her age. She, she could actually hold a conversation with her when she was, like, seven. Like, she wasn't like your siblings, anyway. She was very much like a, like a smart, like, like kind of... Ha, ha, has a good head on her shoulders, you know, the whole thing, right? Then she hits 13 and she immediately starts slutting it up. Oh, for fuck's sake. And just doesn't fucking stop slutting it up. Is Sis Nix a golf slut? I bet she is. What? My sister? Yeah, she's <laughs> no. a golf slut. No, no. I don't think my sister is. sister's just your mom now? Yeah. <laughs> she's exactly like your fucking I know. Mom. It's I, my, so bad. Avery said the same damn thing. Yeah. She's like, I don't know how I feel with your sister. She's kind of she's controlling. <laughs> Here's the thing, man. Your sister was kind of grumpy in high school, but she was actually a little bit hot. And now she's just... And now she just looks like your mom. <laughs> now she's just my mom. <laughs> it's like, oh, God. Why is, she, why is she setting up so hard? Because she was marginally attractive, skinny as a rail, and in high school. You're not in high school at 13. No, 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 no but can... She not in high school, joined no. high school eventually. Uh, okay, she, she was at the age where people were starting to bang in her generation. She's like, uh-huh, help me, help me, just punch in the face. You can't, I'd like you get to. in trouble for yeah, punching citizens. Yeah, I get citizens. shit for that. When will Dave next look like his mom? <laughs> uh, never, because I look like my dad. Here's what I think, Merlin, uh, this happens to both guys and girls, though it manifests in different ways due to gender differences, right? When you give people an undue amount of attention that they don't necessarily deserve... They feel like they deserve it all the time. It really goes to their fucking heads. So, like Hannah? Yeah, but Hannah's not even good-looking. She's like a round-ass ball. I mean, she is. She's like, she should lose weight, but, like, her face is marginally attractive. I think she'd look good if she lost, like, 100 fucking pounds. I don't know how much she weighs, so... Hey, hey Pixel. God, guys, <laughs> is this is this just like sh throw shade on everyone? With yeah. Anyway, no, no. Like, if if you give people attention and praise that they don't deserve, they really goes to their head. They start to feel like they deserve it all the time, and they start to act like their shit doesn't stink. And that manifests yep. in good-looking girls by basically slutting around. That, that doesn't mean that all sluts feel that way, slutting around but at the speed generally, good-looking sluts definitely feel that way. And, I will and that's why I generally uh, avoid good-looking slutty people. I'm like, no, there's obviously, like, you, you obviously have a giant ego if you're acting like this. What? Nothing. Well, they're, well, they're, they're pretty fragile egos. Yeah. Richard's visit has upset him. Once the king has the moment to get butt raised. No, really, prison. like, I, I know that, like, you don't like this idea, Naomi, because it goes against, like, your, your fucking sensibilities, but it really, it really is the truth for a lot of people. Like, you, you can determine... Who they are by how they act. The mm -hmm. That makes complete sense, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I'll return People hate that for some reason nowadays, though. Uh -huh. It's like, how dare you? How dare you judge me? Well, because you fucking deserve to be judged. <laughs> Just like the, the, the guy that drove in all those people in Times Square. <laughs> He's like, you you have been measured and found wanting. Just plows your crowd. <laughs> I am God for Trump. I will put you to the sword. <laughs> it's fucking terrible. Uh, was it Descartes who said this? What? It was, I, I can't remember who it was, but it's like a common quote. Um, it said that people perform for each other and in turn watch others being performed. It's basically like a giant act. Like, mm -hmm. people aren't... Social like, like, monkeys. Yeah, yeah. Like, you, you get like a lot, of, a lot of SJWs do this. They're not actually good people, but they 
put on a performance of being good and make sure everyone on their fucking social media hears about it because they want to they want that social capital that's, of being seen as a good person. That's called narcissism. They will like if 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 they donate to charity, they make sure that one it's the absolute minimum amount and two it's posted on every single bit of social media and told to all their friends cuz they want that exchange of that social capital in exchange in, in exchange for doing that charity work. Shit like that. Well, it's like even people that Oh, um, you should have oh! been able to get that. That was bullshit. Yeah, that was pretty dumb. Anyway, what can you tell from me from what, what, what do you mean, from what he has said? You, Assuming think. it's what we can tell about Matapasta from, from, from what he has said. Yeah. Um, I don't know, because well, I never know if you're trolling troll. or not. Yeah. <laughs> are, 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 Pasta, are you, are, you, are you in fact a massive cuck lord? <laughs> but yeah, there, Confirm or deny. But there was this, I forget who it was now. I think, I think it might have been Descartes, but it was the 17th century philosopher who basically predicted the rise of social media. It wasn't Voltaire? It might have been Voltaire, actually. It could have been Voltaire. But he, yeah, he basically said people perform for each other and in turn watch each other being performed. And that was basically the whole point of like looking good, doing good things solely to look good and not because you're actually virtuous. You know what I mean? Yeah. Death. Except you land with them. And like that that really that's the basis of like SJWs. It's the basis of hipsterdom. It's it's definitely the basis of of slutty people who sleep around solely because they're good looking and can do so. What about Soliana? Soli wanna go back and play Sonic 06, Dave? No. <laughs> but my Soliana purpose in life. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Anyway, what do you guys think about this, anyway? I think you're, I think there's a definitely, uh, there's credence to that. Yeah? What about you, Naomi? Yep. <laughs> I think you're, I think you're mad about this idea. Because it's, it's like, it's something that your generation almost exclusively does. Yeah. I don't think you do it, though. I don't think, like, you're, you're somebody who's just good for the sake of looking good. No, you're just an asshole. <laughs> 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 You've been so mean to Dave Nix, Dave Nix fights back. <laughs> yeah. Because Dave Nix is also a bad person. <laughs> I like how you used to be in third person now, Dave. It has begun. <laughs> Your transformation into just Dave Nix Superstar. Exactly. It's Dave Nix Superstar. Thank you for saving my life. Current day Eiffel Tower. What, what the hell are you guys talking about? Uh, they're talking about the differences between 2007 and today in Paris. Because there have been so many migrants hitting up Paris that it's turned into a complete shithole. Why? They, did they turn into the fucking Taj Mahal? There's, there's a few screen, like, pictures that people float around pole, and I don't really care about them because it's, it's all race-based. It's like, oh, look at Paris in 2007. It's all white people. Look at it now. It's all black people. It's like, who, who, who fucking cares? Like, that, that's, you can run away, That's babe. just race. And I know. And I think that, that like, race and culture are two very separate things, you know? Um... But then you see like French monuments covered in graffiti and gang signs, yeah. you know, shit like that. It's like, okay, maybe these immigrant gangs shitting up the joint should be fucking reined in, you know? Is that, is that it though? Like there's a ton of graffiti on the Eiffel Tower now? Yeah. Oh. Well, maybe they should send them back to <laughs> this place. This, I, not, <laughs> not, just, not just back to the Middle East, but the Middle East circuit at 1100. <laughs> <laughs> see how they fucking hate I think that the fact that I act like a bad person proves that I am secretly good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. You're hiding your true self. Yeah. Oops, I almost killed a woman. <laughs> you fucking goon. Ouch. Can't you block those? Uh... Or dodge them? Yeah. Nice, it's, good job. It, I, I always have a hard time with the, the really big haymaker shot, so... Yeah. And then this happens. Portable niche, that has less to do with the fact that they're black and more to do with the fact of black culture or whatever culture they happen to come from being ridiculously resistant to change. Oh, yeah. Oh, I mean, look at what happened in Model Parliament, right? What happened in Model Parliament? Fucking a friggin' guy from Africa. The Muslim guy from Africa. What did he do? He, like, like basically, like, started feeling out the one girl. <laughs> Did you did you get, like throw him under the bus for that? Like what happened to him? I wish I'd thrown him under the bus, but he drove back in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Still, you know what I mean. Like you, you said, you're gonna do something about it. Did you? Mm, the professor gave him. Sh I don't know exactly what what happened, but they basically 
they basically said you're never like there's no way you're ever going on that again and if you do anything else they probably they probably had something else infecting his marks i don't know but okay. um basically said if you do anything like that again if i hear anything like that again you're, you're gone like you're, 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 you're not just expelled fucking thrown out of the country oh nice that's how it should be yeah and you should be like you're racist no you're just a fucking rapist you're, yeah <laughs> Yeah, it's. Where do you where, like? What was his reaction to that, or what do you say? I don't know. I haven't heard anything. You haven't seen him since then? No. Or if I have, I, I haven't really. I, I might have mm. forgotten what he looked like. Because like, here's the thing: like, I didn't actually. Racist. I didn't see the guy do it, and oh. And I didn't. I didn't. Well, here's, well, see, I Dave, Dave I, I never, is listening and believing it's an innocent Muslim man. <laughs> is there such a thing anymore? <laughs> Just kidding. There are. There are some innocent people <laughs> out there. Yeah. Cult is a social concept, and race is also a social concept that they doesn't real. They doesn't real. <laughs> yeah. Is that it? Is that why you're? Is that why you're such a fucking social pariah racist? <laughs> <laughs> the problem with um, black people in France is that there's so many like white supremacists who are like black people can't come here. And yet, there's something like three million black people who gained citizenship because they fought for France in World War II. And after you fight for, for a country, you can't deny them citizenship. You know, you can't be like, no, you're not French. It's like, well, I fucking got shot up for you, man. Like, no, I'm, 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 I'm French now. I think that's, I think it's completely right to, to offer them citizenship. But like, and then now there's, now there's well, fucking Algeria, though. Algeria just hates France. <laughs> Well, like I didn't even really know the extent of it until I looked it up. But um, Algeria, like they, they, they had a massive campaign against France. Yeah. Because of the well, they want independence, right? Yeah. So they just kept bringing people in and committing acts of terrorism and shit. Like, well, it was the same with, with with Ireland and Britain. Oh yeah, the, troubles. the IRA. Yeah, the Troubles was that was pretty fucking awful. <laughs> the Troubles is like a, a, the most British way to describe a fucking rebellion. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's the Troubles, guys. <laughs> the Troubles. You know, there's an assassination attempt against against the, the prime fucking minister. Fucking car bombs and. <laughs> oh no, the hotel the hotel bomb was the worst one. Yeah, I mean, that was that was fucking awful, man. <laughs> hmm, sorry. <laughs> Look like perfect aim from like fifty feet away. <laughs> Good job. I actually enjoy more in the Damn it. later him. games because um, some for some of the knives don't work against like guys that have heavier armor. Like you have to throw like a whole bunch of them for them yeah. to work. I was like, yeah, that's kind of more realistic. It's nice. It's pain in the fucking ass, but it's not. <laughs> <laughs> and you all dead? And so, where is the guy anyway? He's here. He's fighting me. Yeah, it's he? that one. Yeah. The, yeah, the one Dave's looking at. Come on. Uh, not that one. Come on, bitch. See, don't you see? The, the guy with like the the hair. Yeah, the, 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 the hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Well, it really is the only guy with hair here. Everyone else either has is bald or has like like helmets. Well, that guy isn't bald. He has hair. If America hires Ukrainian mercenaries, why should they get sister? They're getting paid to fight. Um, Matt, Pastor, this is a case of conscription. This was like France's colonies. They went to them and said, listen, all you men are coming here to fight for France because it's World War II. And they just forced them to do it. And after that, you cannot deny them citizenship. Like, yeah, you that's, owe them that's that fucking point. awful. If you owe them. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, sneaky assassin. <laughs> I do got to say, though, like a lot of it is... Mo you know what? No. All of it is cultural. Like, if you take, like, like, a black person and raise them outside of their culture, in in another culture that would be, you know, not, that would that would not care that they're black mm -hmm. at all, um, yeah, they're going to be exact same as the, as the people there, yep. you know? It really is a cultural thing. But then people say, like, well, if you shit on black culture, that means you're a racist. No, because that's not the race. It's their culture. I have no problem with saying that white culture Fuck. is probably objective the most fucking superior culture on the planet. But the race? No. Bitch. No. Not at all. But like, the white culture brought us technological innovation. It brought us democracy. It there brought, we go. It brought the end of slavery. Like, what the fuck is bad about it? The nuke button. <laughs> I know that you are going to murder Richard. He's just like Deus Vault. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My son is an arse. 
unfit to lead his host, let alone the king. I guarantee you someone in the chat is going to clip me saying that white culture is the best culture and fucking spread it around the internet. And I'm going to be known as the goddamn diva white supremacist. Are they going white to South Africa? Um, pretty, I mean... They were pretty terrible. I don't know anymore. I'm guessing they're still... They're still off. Dude, just watch District 9 about it. <laughs> yeah, more or less. The only person I met from South Africa was a terrible fucking human being, so... What did they do? They were just shits. What happened though? What's the story? Were they, there isn't a story. They're they just a shitty person. Yeah. They're just a shitty human being. Okay. <laughs> but Dev Nix is white. It's always bad. So <laughs> African immigrants? How are they, Elopis? And here's the thing, uh, on the other flip, on the flip side of that coin, people who say that racism doesn't exist anymore, those people are also wrong. Like, you, you know, you know that old black woman Some of my favorite people. from the store, Naomi. Yeah. <laughs> you think that white culture? That I've talked to a few times now. I do actually believe her when she told me the story. She, she said that uh, she was she was in Barbados going to university, and they had hired like an old Italian guy to teach the class. Mm -hmm. And she kept asking questions. Mm -hmm. And the Italian guy asked to see her outside the class for a minute. Mm -hmm. And he said, listen, I hate you because of your skin color. He said it in a much more uh, offensive way. Yeah. Uh, and he said, you need, to, um, you need to quit my class because I will fail you. Because I don't like you because of your race. Oh, for fuck's sake. Come on. And the school didn't do anything about it. So like... No, of course there's still racism in the world. Like let's, but like that yeah. was in that was oh. in Barbados. It wasn't yeah. in Canada. It was in Barbados. <laughs> also known as Mega Cuck Land. Dave just loves the word cuck now. It's like his favorite new word. It is. Mostly it, because it, it describes it, you in every way. Yeah, it's because you become kin with it. How <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, you fucking faggot! That's also my new favorite word. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> That's an old favorite, Dave, just coming back. Hey, yeah, right. Can you knock the ladder down? No. Nope. No. So, hey, taking shots. Keep in mind, most South African blacks were immigrants from other countries. My favorite people, they're all outdoorsy, too. Cool. What time are we at? You're probably close. Oh, yeah, we're. Oh, wow, we're way over. Like what 20, time are we? 27 minutes. 27? For fuck's sake, dude, you gotta watch that shit. What? How am I supposed to be? They're, I'm playing the game. Okay, anyway, after. You fucking. Like, why are you. Why are you. The ladder is Why a are you opening me, Dad? Why are you, why are you bringing oh, on the salt? <laughs> oh, God. Okay, here, I'll, I'll finish this up. Uh, I do know that, that a big problem with black culture is that they definitely want to keep each other down. They're very crab in the pot, you know? When, when a black person gets successful and leaves the hood, they're considered like betrayers, you know? Yeah. It's like, well... The crab in the bucket? Crab in the pot is the actual... No, but there's, a, there's actually a song by Chaos. He's a Canadian uh, singer-rapper. Oh. It's called Crab Crab Bucket. The Crab in the Bucket. And I think it's he's basically talking about this exact thing. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake. And I kind of understand why, because, like, social capital is a big deal in ghetto communities. Mm -hmm. of, of any race. Yeah. And so when someone leaves, that's a friend you no longer have to call upon when you need help, you know? Yeah. So they're like, you're a traitor. It's like, well, you made money the easy way, but you made it the sleazy way, selling crack to the key is. Is that actually part of the song? It's not that song, no. It's um, Changes by Tupac. <laughs> Tupac. You sh fuck Dave, you. Dave, you idiot. Yeah! <laughs> Kate, would you? Uh, look at my skeletal body. Okay, well, here, Fucking okay, meth, look at, look dude. at. Okay, guys, next time uh, we're gonna get on going. In the ghetto.